welcome back to a brand new vlog. A very exciting location today. I figured I may as well not film the, the coming here. It was like a three hour journey. But we're here now. We're in a, a beautiful, beautiful like country manor called the Newt. The Newt. We're in Somerset. It's called the Newt. It's a brand new like manor country house. Kind of a bit like, a bit like Soho Farmhouse, but like Babington House. So it's gorgeous like getaway places. Apparently because it is infested with newts. So we're here with Dior Beauty for their Capture Total. I'm sure you're probably very, very aware of this product. It's like their super enhanced premium line of skincare. So this is the new Cell Energy range and everything looks just beautiful. We've just had like a talk about all the products with one of the Dior experts and he's gone through everything and talked about why it's all so, and it's been like completely reformulated. All of the products are now in glass instead of plastic, so we've managed to remove, I think he said something like 40 tons of plastic from, from being used from these products and it just makes them even more luxurious. They look beautiful. So they've got like the gentle cleanser, the super potent serum is gorgeous. Me and Emilia have just been trying them all out. Um, and this is a little pot of moisturizer. So obviously it comes in like a full on like system where you can do your eye cream and then you've got the serum to go on top and then you've obviously got your moisturizer to go on top of that. So it's a whole, it's a whole thing. And in, if, in probably about an hour's time, I'm gonna go have a full facial done. They've got a few different deal specialists and facialists here that are gonna give us a facial. This is very, very exciting. I'm so happy to be here. I'll give you a little bit of a, I mean, look how gorgeous this setting is. So happy to be here. We're just about to have some lunch. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, like really natural, delicious, healthy food being served up. Everyone's all together. Just look at this place. How idyllic is this little house at the end here? And that's the Dior Conservatory. And this is a strange animal called Amelia. I love it when you laugh at your own joke. I know, I only find myself funny. She can't finish it because she's laughing so much at her own joke. But she can't lie. She always tries to come in and laugh all lies and she's too busy laughing. Next up, spa treatments. Got into our sexy little Dior robe. Everything is so branded, it's beautiful. It's been so amazingly done by the Dior team, as always. And now I'm gonna go and have a full capture total facial. Can't wait, because I've, I've, I've got really, really dry skin from my peel the other day. So I just need some like ultra hydration just to kind of rehydrate all of my skin. And that is kind of the point of this range. So perfect, it's all about kind of anti-aging and really giving the skin what it needs to regenerate and rehydrate. So I'm very much looking forward to this. Okay, I'm in my treatment room. This one is called the potting shed. So it literally looks like a little shed, but it's got a little Dior bed all laid out. This is like a full on thick mattress. I mean, how dreamy is this? But look, it's like a, it's like a little potting shed. Absolutely adorable. <laughs> I will see you after my hour. Ah, look, just got to our room. We're, in we're inside this tiny little, um, it's funny because when I was in the spa before, we were all looking over at this little thing and going, is that a room? Because it's just this little box thing, isn't it? And it must go downstairs to the... There's a toilet down there. Is there? Yeah, oh. There's a toilet and it's a shower. This is adorable, it's isn't it? Like when I came back earlier, there was a couple of old women and they were just at the door kind of like looking. Were they? Yeah, this is going to be awkward. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. And they're like, is this your room? Oh. I was like, yeah. And they're like, is it really? And I was like... Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Hi guys. Thought I'd bring you into the bathroom and just do a really quick, just to show you my base for this evening. So I'm just going to quickly get ready. Um, I am looking not my best. Let's just say I need a tan. I look really tired as well. Like I'm not looking all that fabulous right now, I must admit. So I'm looking forward to getting this makeup on. I'm gonna use one of my favorite foundations. This is the Dior Forever Skin Glow. There is just Dior Forever, if you don't like anything that's too glowy. But personally, I really like a much more glowy look on the skin. So I always go for anything that's got a little bit more of a glow to it than a matte foundation. 
and this one is just such a lovely like underlying glow it's nothing too crazy it doesn't feel too oily on the skin i just find it just has gorgeous coverage like medium coverage which you can build up so i just want to kind of like apply a layer and again in this shade it's a tiny tiny touch probably too dark for me but i'll just bronze down my neck i'd rather look a look i'd rather look a little bit brighter and more have a little bit more color to my face just to brighten me up a bit it just goes on so beautifully it's just such such a pretty foundation this is pretty much my favorite brush by the way for foundation the real techniques one duo fiber contour brush i don't know why but i just started using this and i find it just disperses product really really nicely okay before i completely finish that off and perfect it this is such a super exciting product forever skin correct concealers have just come out and i am very much a fan it comes out like a huge concealer wand going a bit heavy than i normally would with this because like i said i'm just looking very very tired i don't really know what's wrong with me and in fact you know what? i'm going to use a little sponge from what i've used so far with this concealer it is mostly i'd say it was quite a light to medium coverage to be honest that's a bit better right and i'm just going to use that sponge to go all the way around and just dab in all around the edges getting in the hairline it'll take away any potential brush marks you might have left and i feel like it just perfects the whole look just having that last little sponge to finish it off i have just done my hair so that's why it's tied back so funny because <laughs> i'm trying not to get it a kink in it just whilst i'm doing the rest of my makeup i'm gonna put on some of the lip glow Go lip glow lip balm in 001. It's better. You can actually see there. Look how lovely and glowy that is. And I'm quite looking forward to using this actually. I've just got this the new Dior Backstage Rosy Glow in Coral. Oh, it's such a pretty blush. So I'm going to use that as well. Um, but the rest, I'm just going to slap a full face of makeup on now because otherwise I'm going to be late but i just really wanted to show you that base because it is really just so 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 pretty and glowy full look done how pretty is this blush color so pretty i've gone for please just sat on my hair a little bit more but i've just gone for like a a green a green emerald with a bit of a terracotta orange vibe and i put a little bit of the blush over the top and been playing around a little bit now i am late <laughs> so tonight i'm wearing this dior blazer this bag is absolutely beautiful i was actually eyeing this up in the store it is absolutely stunning from the newest collection um i've put on my dior belt just to pull it all in i'm wearing my sisterhood is global dior tea with it and then i'm just wearing my own white trousers because um dior did send me some jeans but unfortunately a couple of sizes too big so they were too much i couldn't even make them work even with the belt so um i've gone for these and then i'm wearing my most loved dior nude shoes and that's the whole look dior skincare dinner we're all sat around this really elegant table <laughs> And this is very nice. Our little amuse bouche to start off the day. Alex and Pierre are having dinner together. They are. A little date night for Pierre and Alex, which is super cute. They'll be on the gins already, let's be honest. And a lovely gentleman just brought me a double gin and tonic, so I am very, very happy. Uh, yeah, I didn't really get to show you my makeup and my hair in my mad, mad rush and my little outfit. And Amelia also. Oh, look how cute I want that this is so fun. I mean, how fancy is this? I'm back from dinner, and seeing as I was going to be taking off my makeup anyway, I thought I'd do a bit of a get unready with me kind of thing. Um, obviously, using you know, the new Capture Total range. I find that sometimes I go on these trips and I don't get to fully inform you guys as to what exactly I've seen, so I thought it might be a good idea for me to do this so you can actually see the products that. I've learnt about today and what's coming out, what's new and what exactly you can learn from the fact that I've been here to learn about it for you in order to tell you about it. 
So I thought that would be what I would do. So I'm just taking off my eye makeup. I just have like a tiny little L'Oreal eye makeup remover here that I found in America. But if you are looking for an eye makeup remover, the one that I would recommend the most is the Garnier. Garnier, what's it called? They come in these big tubs, like vats of of them, and they're um they have like one has a pink lid, one has a yellow lid which has like oil in it, one has a purple lid. I love the pink one. So I always have the massive like litre sized tubs of those and go through them. They just take off makeup like that. Like this is taking a bit longer than my Garnier would almost a bit, but what I always do when I'm cleansing or taking off makeup is I'll take off my eye makeup and then with whatever is kind of left on my pad, I'll so quickly just run over my entire face just to loosen the rest of everything else that's on there. Top takes off that very top layer of makeup. So now I'm ready to go in and clean everything. Right, I'm actually really excited about this. Obviously, I I had the chance to try out the products earlier during my facial and I was blown away by the result. My skin looked unbelievable. So first of all, she took off makeup, then she fully exfoliated it and she was like rubbing her hands up and down. It was just amazing. And she was massaging it. And then obviously she put in so many different layers of serums and, s and lotions. And, and then finally obviously topped up with the, the, the cream, the moisturizer at the top. And my skin just looked like it was glowing from every angle. Unbelievable. So, um, but, and that was with all these products. That's all products that you can use at home. I mean, obviously it takes if you wanted to get that kind of result, you'd really have to take time on yourself and give yourself like a really amazing like little facial at home. Obviously at night when we're all in our bathrooms, we don't want to be taking 25 minutes to clean our faces. Anyway, right, I'm going to go in with the High Performance. So it's a Capture Total Cell Energy range. This is a High Performance Gentle Cleanser. So this is like a gel, just a clear gel formula. It smells really light, really light and floral. So I'm just using a little bit of water just to dampen that into my face. I really like this, this step. This is one of my favourite steps in skincare, the cleanser, because you can just really like massage the face. I always like just let my face go really limp and just sort of like massage up the cheek muscles and everything. Just to, especially in the morning, it just kind of wakes up your entire face and that like, loosens you up a little bit. During the facial, when the facialist was doing it, she would get like a hot cloth and just take away any last bit. So I'm going to do the same thing. Enrich with gentle cleansing agents, this unique formula cleanses skin, freeing it from impurities like makeup residue, pollution, and UV filters. It does feel like super little thing clean, it doesn't feel dehydrated after that. The real focus of this range though is skin health and looking after the skin to make it as healthy as possible because they found that healthy skin is the best looking skin. The healthier you are personally and the healthier your skin is on top, the more kind of youthful and radiant and glowy you're going to be looking. So these products are all about creating much more healthy skin. So the ingredients of packed inside are all about really reg regaining youthfulness, adding so much more radiance, um, we're looking after stem cells in the skin. So there's these four flowers that they've kind of harnessed this power from. So it's all about restoring, increasing the vitality and the life of the skin cells. We have the High Performance Treatment Serum Lotion. I mean, I feel like this is a very kind of Asian skincare. The Asian market absolutely adores lotions. It's, it's kind of the next step after a toner to put on top, it just to kind of um, add that hydration and that boost back into the skin. This instantly infuses the skin, helping to leave it deeply hydrated and plumped while optimising its responsiveness to subsequently, subsequently applied Capture Total skincare. So obviously the idea of this is that you put this on, this will help the products that you put on afterwards to really penetrate so much deeper. I'm just going to use a big cotton pad and I like to just tear them in half and use a half because you can never use a full one. It's quite a viscous, watery gel. They all smell so light and fresh and floral, but like not in a heavy way though, just really light. 
floral scent. So this is a firming and wrinkle correcting eye cream. You can almost see that little really light pearlescent particles in this. It's got that kind of very, it's that kind of cream to gel hybrid feeling where it almost feels more hydrating than a cream, almost a bit more gel like, but then it is still a cream texture, if that makes any sense at all. The second skin effect cream enriched with retosterols, known for their filling and soothing properties, intensely smooths, redensifies, and corrects visible signs of aging of the eye contour. Rejuvenate all the area around the eye, so that sounds fabulous. Um, okay. Next on to the super potent serum, I tried this a little bit earlier and it's got such a gorgeous texture to this. A very light cream, as you can see it's running away with me. That lotion has got this kind of like tacky feel. Now that we've applied the lotion from earlier, this will hopefully penetrate a little bit deeper into the skin. Wow, can you see that glow? It's coming off of that. Wow. Yeah, it's got this kind of like, can you hear that, almost like a tackiness to it? I didn't quite expect that. It feels quite nice. Serum is enriched with a self-vectorised hyaluronic acid for an instant smoothing effect. Its strong affinity with the skin allows it to penetrate to its heart and correct visible signs of ageing, wrinkles, pores, loss of firmness and radiance as well as colour imperfections. Instantly the skin appears more supple and wrinkles are visibly smooth. After seven days the serum improves the skin's tone and radiance. Yeah, that's starting to lose its tackiness now. It's kind of helping to, it's kind of setting into the skin a little bit more. Okay, final product to try. And we've got the firming and wrinkle correcting cream, which obviously is your over the top moisturizer that helps to lock it all in place and keeps it, keeps the serum in there doing its thing, which is absolutely what you want. Again, so beautifully packaged. Again, this has it's kind of similar feeling to the serum. It's not super wet. And so it's got this tacky feeling again now on the skin. It's obviously kind of adhering and helping to soak in. So it's a little bit different actually to my other, other moisturising products I've used really. Sinking to the skin, this like tackiness. You can hear that. I'm looking forward to seeing my skin in the morning and I'll show you when I wake up how it's all looking. Obviously, um, I'm not going to obviously be able to tell you after just tonight how I feel about this because with skincare you need to use it for so long to really gain a real feel for it. Um, I mean, my, my usual kind of everyday skincare products, mainly from Illumiere MD, I've used for about two years now. Um, which is why I've seen such huge results with it. Um, so after two years of using it, I can I honestly say it's it works wonders. So, but with skincare, you really do need to try it for a number of weeks to really get a feel for it. So it'll be silly for me to kind of tell you straight away now, like yes, this is this is the best product ever because I too also need to try it out more and more and more. So. I will do so and I will report back to you. All I can say is after the beautiful um, facial I had earlier and the way my skin looked and the glow and the overall feel and look of my skin, I was super impressed. Um, and these have all gone on really, really nicely. Such unique textures. You can really feel the luxurious textures in them. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to showing you this tomorrow so we can see what we think. much better lighting last night, it was so bright. I had that light on full and then didn't realise that there's a dimmer switch. <laughs> Typical. Anyway, I've literally just come downstairs. So this is my skin after the evening. Because I've had a really, I've had really dry skin here because I had my peel the other day. So it just kind of, this part of my face from here down, especially down my neck as well, strangely, where it's all been super dry as it's obviously been kind of resurfacing itself. And that now feels really nice and kind of back to normal, almost like it just needed like a really powerful hit of moisture. So this is now feeling really, really good. 
Um, the, everything else just feels like glowy, quite radiant. I mean, you can see my skin sort of glowing away there. It's not broken me out, which is one thing, which obviously you worry about after putting on a full face of brand new skincare. I was like, oh God, what if my face completely breaks out? But it's not, I can't see any breakouts. I did have a little, well, like a little spot forming here somewhere. And I can't see that now. So that looks rather impressive so far. Maybe I might keep this range as my like intense, beautiful nighttime, really kind of special range of products to put on a couple of days a week just to give that real hit of moisture and health and beauty. Honestly, I'm really, I'm really impressed. The fact that my skin hasn't flared up, it's, it feels better than it did yesterday. I mean, that is a massive um, plus. So yeah, honestly, I'm really, really impressed with that. Really smooth. Little Amelia in a little robe and Dior boots. Such a look. On our way to breakfast. I'm gonna hopefully get some avocado and toast and some delicious coffee. Coffee yesterday was so strong, it was amazing. And that's what I need right now for my bags, that's for sure. So that's the spa in there. These are rooms. These are different rooms, I think, in here. And then we're going up now to the main section, the main manor house of the Newt. It's rather beautiful. I always wonder what these little steps are for. Was it for people just to look over the gate back in the day? Oh, it's that fine rain that soaks you through. Let's go nice. quickly. And we're back home. I'm already in cleaning mode. <laughs> Literally stepped through the door. I went up to my closet to have a little look at the, what the painter's done today And he's already pretty much painted the whole thing which is unbelievable because it's taken him a day Apart from the woodwork he's going to do all the windows and the doors and then it's going to be done I can get my lights in there. So it's getting there. It's getting there slowly, but surely I can't actually wait um, And then I literally got into full cleaning mode I haven't actually shown you this yet da -da, da -da 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 -da. My new Hoover, new pride and joy this old thing, the Dyson V11 Absolute, it's their brand new Dyson Hoover. It's amazing, I've never ever had a wireless Hoover and it's honestly changing my life. I've had the, the Dyson Animal for years and it's been like the most amazing, loyal Hoover. Um, but Dyson was so nice as to send me this baby and I'm so happy. It's just so, it's so easy as well, like, as soon as this is full, Stick it straight into the into the bin and then go again. It's just so quick. I absolutely love it. It comes with a few different heads for different floors and things, but pretty much I just use this roly 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 head and it's great. So I've just been doing all the stairs, all the way. The good the thing I love this most for is the staircase. Because usually when you've got like a big body of a hoover and you're trying to hoover each stair and then you're having to hold the body, oh no more with my new hoover so i've just literally hoovered every pretty much every single room in sight then i realized i have not yet managed to take out my new curtains i've not let my new curtains down thought you'd like to join me for the ceremonial cutting of the ribbons let's get the scissors let's just go for it i'm only cutting them because i just tried to undo this with my nails and it wasn't happening so i'm going for this this vibe instead. Because these have been ribboned up now for, I mean, you said leave them for 72 hours and I've left them for quite some time. They should now have a really fantastic drape. I mean, they already look pretty fantastic. I mean, look at that pleating. Ooh, I'm excited about this. So, do this one too. Yes. Oh. Look how gorgeous, right? Like I can actually kind of open these out now and show you the vibe. My triple pleats. Oh wow, they just hang so pretty. Look how beautifully they hang. Oh, that is so prestigious. <laughs> Looks so luxurious. I've still got, oh, do you know, I'm not showing you these. I'm yet to put these up. So we have these outside and I've got one more light that I just needed one for, so. Philips Hue white and colour ambience outdoor lantern um, and they come in this shape so it's like a down light they're just so lovely and they pump out so much light 
they're just so much brighter I've found than all the lights that I've used and what I love about them is that you can make it so that they come on if they sense someone's around um, and you can also have them in loads of different colours, I mean 60 million colours it says here so and you can go from a warmer colour to a cooler colour honestly I so highly recommend these guys, I think they're really fantastic and yeah they're all on like a sensor you can get there like a sensor that goes with them that detects if people are nearby and then they come on so I've left it here because I'm going to put this outside. Anyway, back to the job at hand. I always get sidetracked whenever I'm doing anything. What a treat to actually have some curtains for the very first time in this room. Oh, look at the pleating. That is so luxurious looking. Like if I step back and show you the whole room, look how beautiful that finishes off. And the colour match with the walls is just the dream. Oh, that just feels so cosy now, being able to shut out that space, keep it warm. Did I mention as well, they're also thermal lined, so they're so thick and they're thermal lined. And they're almost, they're like so perfect, they're the tiniest bit off the floor, so they're not gonna touch and collect dust on the floor, which is just fantastic. Yeah, just in case you didn't like watch my last vlog, where the guy was fitting these. These are from Thomas Sanderson, part of their, this particular fabric is part of the Harlequin collaboration that they've done, Thomas Sanderson and Harlequin. So it's just the most super luxurious, beautiful fabric. Just give it a bit more of a close up. I've kind of shown this before, but it's almost like a brass gold, like spotting, like speckled. It's stunning and it could not match this wall color anymore. So they just look fantastic. I'm thrilled. And yeah, I also got the matching Romans to match as well. This room, save for one painting there, is pretty much done. I was going to try and get a bookcase for here, but actually I realised that I don't have many books as it is, and what I do have, I already have up on a bookcase upstairs. Um, like this down here, sorry there's loads of rubbish here, this case down, this side table down here isn't even full so at the moment I'm not really needing any more storage but as soon as I find the right one I just don't want to rush for it I spent hours online looking for the perfect bookcase and just still haven't found exactly what I want and it's one of my favorite rooms in the whole house I'm so proud of myself for this room because I really without blowing my own trumpet I've never been able to do anything in interior design before and I really feel like this room is awesome it's very, well, it's my taste anyway. Some of you guys might not like it. It's very much my taste and I'm so happy with it. I've just put my cushions together. So I also have this cushion to match the curtains. I've just found an old cushion and filled it. So great, that makes me happy. And also this was an alternative fabric that I loved potentially for the curtains, but I decided I actually loved it more as small as a smaller piece. Um, rather than like a full fabric curtain. So in the end I went for a cushion. So I have this as a cushion and I have this as a cushion, which I obviously love because it matches. But now I have two sides, two cushions each side. I know a lot of people probably wouldn't like that, but for me the symmetry just makes me feel very, very, very happy that it's all got, it's all kind of nicely put together. Not everything matches. I mean, those two obviously match and these come as a little pair. These are both from Coggles. Such a fan of these. They're such beautiful quality and they're all like wools and yeah, they're just so unique. But now I have them all kind of laid out. All the colours work beautifully in the room. It just, it's just so nice. So this room is now ready for tomorrow when I have guests coming over. Perfectly ready. Okay, do we have enough? Do we have enough light? I'm gonna unbox it for you guys. So, I don't wanna go into this in too much crazy detail because I know some people love to unbox like super slowly and whatnot and I'm always like, I wanna see, I wanna see. Um, to be completely honest with you here, this, um, I have just, literally just unboxed it already. So this isn't brand new to me, I'm so sorry. Only because I wanted to get an Instagram video of me opening it. So I've just opened it and I've just repackaged it. Still, anyway, so this is the bag that you get if you buy it in the um, Rue, Rue Cambon store, which is the flagship and the first store. And Gabrielle Chanel lived up above it. So it's all beautifully dressed. I've done, I've done the best I can, guys. I'm not very good at box packaging. Anyway, but it all comes beautifully dressed like this. I must admit, 
that my previous Chanel bags that I bought have been better packaged than this. I must admit that I feel the person who packaged this was a bit lacklustre. But the way they packaged it wasn't overly amazing, I have to say. I've had bags before where you're literally taking off loads of paper and paper and paper. And mine, for some reason, didn't even, even have paper inside it. Bit, bit strange. Anyway, anyway, I don't care. I don't even really care about that kind of stuff, luckily. So, anyway, big beautiful box. I'm most likely to keep this box because my last one I think is a bit battered. And it comes with the dust bag inside and it's got all of my receipt all inside of it. But it's just a nice big dust bag for if I do want to take it around anywhere. And then it's just now open, but it's all um, papered up. So, let me open this up. And now again, I thought that maybe the strap would be wrapped up. I don't know, maybe it's because when I've had Bulgari bags in the past, everything is, every single thing is wrapped and you've got to unwrap everything. But like I said, I don't care. I'd be opening it myself anyway, so it's no big deal. Anyway, ow. Do you know what? I put these things on and I love them. They look so cute. But my ears get so sore when I wear them. It's almost like it takes away the blood circulation. Anyway, getting on with it. Move the packaging, move the packaging, and then are you ready? You'll all get, you, I bet you've all guessed which bag it is. But anyway, let me show you. Let me show you. Dun, 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 dun. Any of you like OG followers or followers that follow me a lot, by the way, thank you. You'll know that I don't buy black bags very often. <laughs> This is quite unusual for me to buy a very classic bag because I don't do it all that often. However, look at it. This is, um, apparently this is called the trendy bag or at least that's what Claire always says it's called, the trendy bag. Um, and I've got it in the black with the champagne finishing, which I prefer because I'm not really mad into gold. I like a bit of gold, but I'm not madly into it. Um, so for me, this is the perfect perfect one really. So it comes with a top handle which I really like because obviously then you can wear it in the crook of your arm or you can carry it like a top handle bag. Um, the size of it is perfect for me. This is the kind of size I love most of my bags. In fact my other love, my Dior, for just for size comparison this is the Montan, the Dior Montan bag. For size comparison it's kind of uh, it's kind of similar. This one is th um, wider the Chanel is wider. But just for an idea, this is the kind of size of bag I, I personally prefer because I find it fits everything in. Most days, obviously, I carry my camera with me, my phone, um, and other bits and bobs, so that's why I need a slightly, slightly bigger bag. I can't go too small. So when I saw it in the store, so what, what happened is I originally went in because we were staying at the Fauchon Hotel, which is two streets away from Rue Cambon, and we are walking back via the Chanel. So I said to Alex, let's just pop in and have a look because I wanted to look for the Chanel 19 bag because I'd seen they do loads in fabric and as I mentioned to you before I'm not I'm trying to really cut down how much leather I buy I no longer buy leather trousers for instance um, and I won't be buying any more leather furniture as far as I'm feeling at the moment and I really wanted to cut down how many leather bags and shoes I was buying anyway so I went into Chanel to look for the new Chanel 19 in a fabric. However, the fabrics that they had, I wasn't overly keen on. They had this beautiful, like, neon -y coral colour, and I looked at it and I was just thinking, the more you rub that, it's just gonna start pilling, like, bobbling. And I just thought, that bag was about £200 less than this one. And I thought, for the sake of I realise I'm cutting down on my leather intake massively, but for the sake of buying myself just one new bag in leather, um, as long as I obviously kind of make sure I'm not buying anything else that's in leather for a while, um, then I'll just go for leather. If it means that I have a quality product that's going to last me forever, I can hand it down. I just didn't feel like the fabrics of the Chanel 19 would be withstanding. I just felt they were a little bit I wasn't overly amazed by the quality, let's just say that. So that's why in the end I went for the leather. I wasn't going to pay this amount of money for some fabric that was going to pill, I'm afraid. Whereas this will keep its shape, it will 
I mean obviously it's, it's quilted, it's otherwise it's somewhat smooth, it's not um, grained in any way. So I do have to be quite careful of it. So that's why I then saw a couple of these in the cabinet and there was a beautiful pink one in the herringbone patterning and it was like a rose pink. I've never seen anything like it before and I was, I was obsessed, I kept trying it on, trying it on. And then I said, do you have any other colours? And then she brought out the black and I tried on the black and Alex loved it. Like usually it's not that bothered about bags, but it was like, that's really classic. I can see you with a, a white tee and jeans and some boots in summer rocking that and just looking really cool. And I was like, thanks babe for the opinion. Like, you know, like sometimes he doesn't pass that much opinion on my fashion and I have to kind of make the, the choices myself. And sometimes you just want an opinion, don't you? So anyway, he just really loved this bag. Um, and I'd obviously, I've seen a few people have this bag, a few of my favourite bloggers have it, I know Lorna has it, Claire has it, does Amelia, I don't think Amelia has it, but I'd seen, I'd seen the other two girls and I adore their channels and I'd seen them with it and they always look fantastic and I thought maybe I could rock this as well and again like Alex said, white tee and jeans is sort of my uniform sometimes so if, it, if it's easy to wear then I'm all for it. So that's why in the end I went for this one, it's so classic. The last time I had a black bag was my Bulgari, which was a very kind gift from the Bulgari team. So actually, the last black bag I bought was most likely my Celine bag about five years ago. So that's, that's how little I wear black, but I'm actually obsessed with this. I can't wait to wear it. I love the crossbody of this. It just sits in such a lovely position. I thought maybe this would be a bit wide, it kind of sticks out in the hip a bit, but you know, I'm not, I'm not that bothered, I just really, I just really like it. You can't really see here, let me, let me run over here, can you see me? I, do you know, I can't even see you from here, that's how bad I am. But it just sits really quite nicely on the hip. I'm rather fond, guys. Also, the thing that kind of pushed me to buy it was the fact that obviously it had the champagne, and quite often Chanel have one of each type of bag, Usually you might find it in the wrong hardware colour or the wrong colour that you don't like. So sometimes I find if you just find that perfect bag, you've got to kind of snatch it up before someone else does. So I went for it. And I'm quite excited it's black because like I said, I don't wear black very often. And I just feel like why not go for a classic bag? Just look how beautiful it is though. It really is just absolutely stunning. I don't have any bags that are kind of like this either. And I don't have any quilted bag because I don't own the boy bag um oh no my little white Chanel one is somewhat quilted on the top but the rest of it is smooth anyway so this is it let me quickly open it up for you sorry for all the blabble babble but I'm, I just want to make sure that so yeah it's got loads of lovely space inside and I love this little detailing here the stitching um it has a phone holder lipstick holder and another phone holder there and at the back is a zip pocket and then at the very back is another little pocket here which I most likely won't use because I know I'll put something in there then forget and then have a panic thinking I've lost it so I probably won't use that but but that is the bag that I got um because I know often Chanel don't put the prices anywhere just so you know this bag well it was 4.6 thousand euros which translated also a tip I must say a tip that I find when you're buying anything abroad like bags is always pay in the currency you're in so do you know often when they hand you the card machine they say do you want to pay in euros or pounds this is for any UK people go with the currency you're in at the time so if you're in Paris pay in euros if you're in Italy pay in euros if you're in the UK pay in pounds I always find it converts better so for example on the card machine it said 4.6 euros or 4.2 pounds I paid in euros I paid the 4.6 turns out that actually equated to 3.9 so I actually saved myself 300 pounds by paying in euros so don't at the moment because the currency rate you're slightly slightly lower than the pound that's why it works out so just bear that in mind because I, I, I would have lost 300 pounds so it actually translated at about 3.9 thousand I'm not I'm not going to make excuses for why I spent so much money anyone that buys Chanel bags gets it you know they're expensive but they're an investment I will keep this forever I'll give it to my my child my boy or my girl that I have that wants a Chanel bag I will let them have it maybe 
yeah, so it's, you know, it's an investment, it's a lot of money. Do you know, I was about to start making excuses of why, why I can afford this and why I want it, but I'm not going to because, quite frankly, I think you all get it. Anyway, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna wrap it up, guys, because I don't want to go on too much in this video. I want it to be mainly about the bag. Oh, one thing I just need to mention. One thing before before I go, I am actually gonna be selling some of my bags, my other bags. I've decided I'm going to sell them. Um, I have just sold my Gucci Marmont um, to a lovely lady over in Texas, so I'm sending that tomorrow. But I'm gonna sell a, I'm gonna sell a few other bags because I'd like to. My dream is to buy an Hermes bag. So I thought if I sell maybe 10 of my other bags that I have, um, I can lump up the money together and buy one super special, super, super special bag. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So look out on my Instagram soon. If you don't follow me already, follow me on In The Fro. And keep checking my stories. I'm going to be doing it on stories because I find most of you fashionistas are over on my stories quite often. And you ask me about my bags on there a lot. So I thought that would be best. But for, us, for the rest of my clothing... When I did, when I moved into my, I love how I'm literally just, clu I'm just cl clutching onto this. When I did all my closet recently, I, um, I got rid of, well, I pulled out maybe seven bags of shoes and clothing that um, I've decided to put on my Depop. Some things went to charity and the rest that I thought was worth that you guys would probably love, I've put onto my Depop. So just so you know, my Depop is currently going, loads of stuff is going on there. I have someone sell it for me because unfortunately I just don't have the time to do it. And 25% goes to breast cancer care as well. But I just find it's the best way to rotate my wardrobe. But this will be the biggest load of things going on to Depop probably ever again. I most likely won't use it after this. It's just because my wardrobe needed downsizing. And in future I will not be buying anywhere near or taking in anywhere near that amount of clothes. Because I felt horrible about how many pieces of clothing I had in my closet and my... As I mentioned before, this year and the following years, like the rest of my life, it's going to be a very different mindset when it comes to uh, purchasing and how much I have in the house. I realise I've just bought a bag, but this is one bag, you know. This isn't me buying 25 new items of clothing every day or every week. Um, so this, I don't see this as the same thing. This is me buying one luxury bag for the rest of my life, you know. It's a little bit different than me buying a t-shirt that I'll wear twice and then, you know, Anyway, again, I don't have to make excuses for myself. I know a lot of you guys totally get it. So um, I'm going to love you and leave you guys. If you are brand new, you've never seen it before, please do hit the subscribe button. That would be so good. Thank you. And um, I'll be on the comments if you want to leave some lovely comments. If you got this far, please leave a black heart for the bag. Last time I asked you to do this, so many of you commented. It was so lovely to see you all. So just leave a little black heart um, down below. Um, and I'll see you in my next one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Bye-bye.